a DCC track tester has got to be the most useful tool I have and today we're going to make a very simple and very cheap track tester but first let's roll the intro Believe it or not, these are the only components you actually need to make a track tester an LED and a 1000 ohm or 1k resistor but today I'm going to mount this track tester into an old bogey because I wanted something that I could roll over points to test the switch blades on the points and it's also very useful for, for getting around tight curves where I can't fit my normal tester in I found this bogey in my box of parts, I'm not even sure why it's there to be honest with you but it's, it's got something missing off the bottom but it's fine, it's got the pickups and the wheels aren't falling out so it's perfect to make a moving track tester so this is what I'm going to use today to mount the track tester into but before we get into building a track tester let's have a, a look at how it works so all you need is an LED of any colour, colour of your choosing and a 1 kilo ohm resistor or 1000 ohm resistor and that's it as we know DCC is a form of alternating current and that works fine for an LED because what actually happens the LED is actually switching on and off very fast so fast in fact that it appears to be onto the human eye and for DCC it doesn't matter which way around it goes you can put it either way around and you can put the resistor in either leg of the LED so it couldn't get much simpler I think the most critical part here is actually the 1000 ohm or 1 kilo ohm resistor as this drops the track voltage to a safe level for the LED and if you want a really simple track tester this is it the LED and the resistor that's all you need but today we're going to carry on and build it into the bogey to get a rolling track tester okay so I'm going to start by soldering the resistor onto the LED I do struggle a little bit when I'm filming because I have to be further away from the soldering phase than I'd like to be but bear with me so I'm going to turn the resistor, turn the LED and then just solder it on again soldering at arm's length isn't easy or not for me anyway Okay, so that's that done. So let's mount the resistor and the LED into the bogey. So it looks like the LED and the resistor are going to fit quite nicely on the top of the bogey here. There's almost a natural slot. So I think that's perfect. So I just need to uh, solder the end of the resistor lead onto the pickup and then the other end of the LED onto the pickup. So I'm going to solder this resistor onto this bit of solder here to try and not melt the plastic as I'm, I'm doing it. So it's got to be a bit careful. Oh, and it did just move a little bit there. I think I've been lucky and just got away with that. Okay, let's solder the other side. So following that near disaster on the other side, I want to try and solder this uh, LED lead onto this strip of uh, terminal a bit higher up to avoid it melting. I'm not sure what this metal strip is made of, but the solder doesn't seem to be flowing. So uh, let's give it a go. No. Nope that's not flowing so plan B it is okay so plan B as I've already cut the LED lead I'm just going to put a bit of a bridging wire on here and solder it onto that blob of solder I was trying to avoid and then just trim that to length and solder it onto the LED and then we should be good to go okay so I'm just going to solder this bridging wire to the LED and I think we're all done okay so that's the track tester finished I will put some hot melt glue on it later just to insulate the wires and hold it in place but I think that's it and we can give it a test there we go we track power on it's lighting up the bogey fits on the track okay so the wheels are okay perfect DCC track tester and that's cost less than 50p to make so let's just have a closer look track power off track power on you get the idea track power going on and off just to prove that it works if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it helps the channel to grow thanks for watching